Welcome back to the Junk Food Zombie channel. We're finally getting to the range to do the Ruger ARX ammo tests. For those of you following the channel, I apologize for the delay. It took me a while to get all the stuff put together because I've never done these tests before. Uh, TN Outdoors 9 is not doing ammo tests anymore, so I figured I'd try to give you guys uh, a test on this ammo since it's new and I don't really see anything out there for it yet. Uh, I had a lot of bad weather. I can't control the weather and uh, three weeks of rain pretty much so it is what it is we're getting out there to the range for those of you not familiar with the Ruger ARX ammo if uh, you have ever seen polycase ARX Inceptor ammo it's the same exact projectile Ruger is working with polycase to make this new ammo this is the 45 ACP it is different in that the projectile is shaped instead of a hollow point a typical hollow point it has these little flutes in it and uh, it's made out of a combination of copper dust particles and polymer. It's extremely light for caliber. This is 115 grain. I'm sorry, 114 grain in a 45 automatic. That's half the roughly half the typical weight of a 230 grain 45 ACP projectile. 114 grain is on the very low end of typical 9 millimeter ammo. So it's very light for caliber. I'm not a light for caliber guy. I'm a heavy for caliber guy. Light ammo at high speeds, in this case 1,350 feet per second, can be effective, but all the tests I see are generally into gel and through denim. Denim is not an issue with this ammo because there's no hollow point to clog up, so that's not an issue. It's uh, It basically should perform like ball in that manner. But my concern is with bone. You have very heavy bones in your arms, somewhat heavy bones in your sternum and your ribs, most ballistics gel tests I see don't account for that, and straight up gel and bone are not the same. And where heavy for caliber bullets tend to do well is in penetration through barriers. Uh, they have more inertia, more momentum to get through barriers and into vitals, and the barriers in your human body would be bone. So what I'm going to do to make this test a little different and uh, maybe a little more relevant to a real life self-defense case, I've got some plywood here, quarter inch plywood. You know, it's not super strong stuff. I don't have any ribs, but this is just going to help us to kind of replicate there being ribs in the way. It might be a little weak for a sternum, but it probably a good representation of, of a rib. And then I've got a piece of two by four, which is going to represent bones in the arm. If you were in a self-defense situation, someone was trying to shoot at you, you might have to, or not have to, but you might hit their arm before you hit their chest. You might not get underneath their hands. You might hit their hands or on the side you might go through their arm. So what I'm trying to do is see if you're in a bad situation and you need to defend yourself, will this ammo perform in the worst case scenario? You hit an arm or you hit the sternum. I wanna see if it's gonna do well. I've got some 40 caliber HST, Federal HST ammo, 180 grain, grain. that's uh, heavy for caliber and, and 40 caliber. I don't have any other hollow point ammunition or any self-defense ammunition in 45 at the moment, but I do have that. And that is a projectile we're all pretty familiar with. There's a bunch of tests online. We know that it'll penetrate 13, 14, 15 inches through gel. So I'm gonna shoot them side by side. I'm gonna shoot one of each through bare gel, then through the plywood, and then through the two by four. And if it performs along with the HST, then yeah, maybe it's pretty effective. We'll see. We'll see how that is. I'm not sold on it, and I'll have to. I'd have to be really impressed with its performance alongside an HST to uh, to trust my life to it. So let's go to the range and check it out and see how it goes. All right, guys. So we're here. Uh, I shot some BBs into the gel. I'm just going to show you that it's calibrated properly. I've got three inches. You probably want to come over up here where you can see the tape measure. I got three inches on that one. It's supposed to be 2.95 inches. Uh, the angle that the camera's at is going to make it look like it's less than three. It's about a sixteenth of an inch under. And then this one here is about three and a quarter to the top, to the leading edge. And this one is, actually this one's three inches exactly to the leading edge. So we are within spec of three to three and three quarter inches. 
So that's on the bottom end, so that'll keep penetration a little lower, maybe by an inch comparatively, but we've got the 40 to test it too, so let's go ahead and All right, it. so we're gonna step about 10 feet back and shoot it. We're gonna do the 45 first in the bare gel and then the 45. I'm sorry, the 45 first and then the 45. Well, it certainly hit pretty hard. I'm gonna grab my tape measure. Broke my aluminum foil. The uh, the recoil is pretty light. It made a heck of a wound in there. Let's see. We've got 14 and a half. Oh, let me measure from the in where it went in there. We've got 14 and seven eighths, almost 15 inches of penetration to the back of the bullet. Now it came in and it spun around. I'll show you the wound track uh, after we do a little more with the other ones. And then I'm gonna turn everything around and do it with the plywood. All right, so we're gonna go with the 40 now with the HST. All right, Federal HST, 180 grain, hollow point. Okay, that went, you can probably see, it went in between the blocks and stopped. So we actually got less penetration with that. It went entrance way. Now the front of the block is slanted, so I'm measuring it from where it went in. It hit 12 inches. Now the seam in between blocks will tend to slow it down a little bit because I've seen these generally go about 13 to 14 inches, but this is on the low end of calibration, so it is a dense gel. So. We've got good penetration with it through the gel. Let's check it out through plywood. I'm gonna flip these blocks around. Let's see where we're at with that. Well, that didn't slow it down. We got a really good wound cavity and 13 and a half inches of penetration, so we'll line it up again and use the HST. That's that's good. All right. Okay, now that is interesting. That is base forward right now. I think that plywood plugged up the hole. We're looking at roughly 21 inches of penetration on that. Uh, I don't know if you saw the tape measure, but 21 inches almost, about 21 and a half. I'm sorry, 20 and a half, 23 quarters. Um, yeah, that plugged up. It made a nice wound. I don't know if you can see it. You got the HST over here and the uh, ARX here. The HST made a, a looks like a, a slightly larger wound, but it, it went way far. So that plywood did uh, plug it up a bit. Now, like I said, plywood isn't bone, but you know it is a barrier. It's something. So we're gonna set up the uh, the two by four and see how it goes with that because that's gonna be the real test. So let's get that done. Okay, next shot is with the Ruger ARX through the 2x4. Let's see what we got. Where did it go? No, it's hard to tell. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it went back here because I've got two of them over here. And that is, I shot that right along with the other one. 
they ran kind of side by side for a second. It's 11 inches in. Honestly, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'll uh, I'll set it up and try one more shot with the HST and see where that goes. Oh, no worries. I got footage here. I knocked the camera down with that one. Well, I got a nice splinter here. And that one, that one did really well. That one went in here, all the way through here. Now I gotta, I gotta measure it. Let me get a tape. Take that camera, please. We've got 15 and 3 quarters inches of, ex of travel now it did clog up it didn't go uh, it didn't expand <clears throat> but uh <clears throat> that's kind of what you'd expect hitting a uh, big piece of wood and like I said it's not bone but that 2x4 is, is pretty stout and your bones do have marrow inside so they are kind of hollow um, I think I think the HST is probably gonna do a little better or according to this definitely do a little better through an arm bone but for all intents and purposes if you're getting a foot of penetration through a 2x4, I'm going to say it performed better than I thought. I thought it would hit that 2x4 and go like 3 inches in and stop. I, did, I thought the 2x4 would stop it because it's so light, but it did a good job. Now, as far as the wound track on the HST, it looks pretty good. As far as the one on the ARX, if you look around this side, it looks pretty good. So it, it all looks pretty good. We've got uh, we've got at least what I would consider the minimum expansion. Did I say 12 inches? Let me check it again. 11 inches. Now that doesn't meet FBI criteria, but FBI criteria is through denim, and we shot it through a two x four, and it missed FBI by an inch through a two x four. So honestly, I can't complain. I think it's I think it's pretty good stuff. I don't have any sheet metal or anything like that to shoot it through, but. It seems to do pretty well, it seems to be pretty consistent. So I'll get some close-up shots and possibly a little more video of the actual uh, wound channels when I get it home and I can put it under a light so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, it looks good, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out. You can kind of make your own decisions on your ammo, but I gave you something that we all know, the HST, to compare it to, and it does relatively well. The HST definitely penetrates better through a, a harder surface. Uh, so if that's a concern of yours, the HST may be the better way to go, but it does does clog up through the plywood and the uh, 2x4, so you do risk over penetration with that. Like I said, there's so many variables. You could be hitting here, you could be hitting here, here. There's really no way to tell. I think in, in most circumstances, the ARX is going to do very well, the HST will do very well, the HST is more likely to penetrate through if it hits bone maybe like i said bone is not the same as plywood or two by fours but it gives you some sort of representation i thought this, the wood would stop it and it didn't so that's it guys we'll uh get you a little more footage later on when we get home thanks and the recoil is very manageable because let's see what happens with these jars of water or jugs of water Oh boy! <laughs> well, it got me all the way back here. Yep, I'm wet. Gun's wet. It uh, it was pretty explosive. So let's see what we got. We went through two and into the third. Well, that's cool. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. I think it's in there. Oh no. No, no, it went all the way through. So it penetrated three jugs of water. Um, I don't know where it is. It, it may have gone way down range, it may not. I couldn't tell you, but I've got an entrance hole and an exit hole on the last jug of water. So, well, if that tells you anything, I don't know. I'm gonna run a full mag plus one out of the gun. So you guys can see the reliability 
Um, like I said, it's the profile of this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's essentially a ball round. If you look at the profile from the side, no matter which angle you shoot it, it's a ball round. So I don't see any issues with this feeding. So I'm going to run eight rounds through the gun. I haven't had any issues so far. I can cycle it slowly with my hand with a full mag, letting it go gently, and it cycles just fine. So, and polymer's slick compared to copper, so I don't see any issues with it. I'm going to shoot uh, Tony Jabroni over there. I'm going to shoot him in the face. Hey, Tony, I told you not to come around here no more. Gun is empty. No issues. Tony's not feeling so good. All right, guys, I figured you'd want to see that. So if you had any questions, some people have questions as far as reliability because of the flutes. But in all honesty, it's shaped like a ball round. To me, I would have more concerns about a hollow point feeding because the front edge of that hollow point can hit the feed ramp, whereas this, no issues, guys. So I hope that covers about everything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any criticisms or any any nice things to say, you can put those in the comments as well. But uh, I hope it was good for you guys, because it was good for me. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. You belly shot. Huh? Belly shot. That'll get some new fans. <laughs> <laughs> to run away. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs>